Hey, what's up everybody? Joseph Ritchie here, and in this video we're gonna talk a little bit about mouthpiece buzzing. Um, so there's two different schools of thought, really. There's the people that are for mouthpiece buzzing and the people that are against mouthpiece buzzing. Um, I've been both at different times in my life, but I got some exercises here for you that I do that are really beneficial, that my students um, benefit from, and I just wanna give you a little bit more clarity and a little deeper dive on how to do those. So I do these for three main reasons. Uh, one, it's to get the blood flow into the lips. The second reason is it uh, gets the air moving, um, and then also warms up my oral skills. Gets me listening and ready to go, ready to play, you know, in tune and focus on that right from the beginning of my playing. So the first exercise, and I'm just following along right here in the Tuba Technique Builders. So the first exercise is basically a, a breathing exercise with the mouthpiece. So it's four beat inhale, four beat exhale, then four beat inhale, four beat buzzing, and it's simple mid-range pitch. And you repeat that a couple times. I put four there, it's up to you. So here would be the metronome, and in. Cool, so that's the idea, and you just repeat it a couple times. What I'm doing though, and I'm snapping with my hand right here, so I'm not doing it at the moment, but I turn on the metronome, and I always take the mouthpiece, and when I really inhale on the exhale, I feel the exhale on my hand. Right, make sure I'm feeling the wind. Um, oftentimes, uh, when people are buzzing, we buzz, but there's no actual air leaving the lips. You're just getting that vibration going, but we want to push the air through the buzz. So that's why I put it here. So it'd be... And I could still feel, it was a little bit different air, but I could still feel air and that's what I'm going for. Um, and again, that's just to make sure I'm moving the air at the start of the day. So exercise number two is pretty much the same thing, but you do the four beat inhale, four beat exhale, a four beat inhale, and then an eight beat buzzing with a siren, just a simple gliss up and then back down. You wanna start in the middle because that's where we're getting comfortable and just kind of stretch out those muscles. So I'll demonstrate. And usually the first or second time I do it when I'm just getting started, I'll just do that gliss out of time and just really, you know, promoting the air um, and just getting everything warmed up. And then I'll do that. And then exercise number three, which is my favorite one, and I have play along tracks with it. It's track number one, two, three, four, and five. And they're just uh, my turn, your turns. Um, so you'll hear it uh, in the track. It's a bass guitar. It's a lower bass guitar for the first one, and that's the my turn, and then your turn is the higher bass guitar. You can buzz whichever pitch you want, but I just did that, that way there was a clear uh, differentiation between the my turn and the your turn part. Um, so for example, let's just do one back and forth. So you can go ahead and pull out your mouthpiece now, and I'll do one without the track, just kind of going back and forth. Let's do uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, so my turn. Sweet, great. So you can do those and I do them with students all the time and I'll do them in my warm up. and I have these tracks that I play along with and they're really helpful. And like I said, it just kind of gets everything flowing. Um, and I do two types of buzzing. So I do the, the long tones, I, you know, the slow stuff. But I also do the articulated stuff um, because you know, it might be a little bit different between how you buzz and how you play the instrument but I wanna make sure everything's sealed properly. Sometimes, especially in my own playing, I've had an issue of tonguing too far in between the lips and stopping the buzz. Maybe I can demonstrate it. You might not have been able to hear it and it was kind of weird, but sometimes it's just too far and this kind of just gets my, my tongue focused and making sure, hey, don't go too far, don't go too high, X, Y, and Z, and just do like some of that articulated stuff. 
and you're just making sure you're getting the tongue lined up, the lips lined up, all that stuff working. So I hope this was helpful. And again, this is on page 18 for you right here in the uh, Tuba Technique Builders book. Um, and you'll just be able to click the links and all the other ones. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you need anything in the Facebook group for the Tuba Technique Builders and have a great day.